Hey guys, Bruno here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for another episode. We're in our heavy haul and trawler. Uh, just, I guess, right in the south of the map, in the middle of the map, in the south. I guess you can say. I just thought I'd try this area here and see if we can um, find anything down in here. I haven't actually got any reports of any fish down in here, but I thought we'd just um, give it a go and see what we can find. There should still be like, some fish in the area. Not 100% sure, but um, right, let's jump out, jump in our other seat. We'll bring all our guys out. Um, uh, let's let's leave the girls. They can um, just have a bit of a break. Been working pretty hard for us, so let's uh, set the trawl, which looks like it's already going, even though the guys aren't even on deck yet. Sorry guys, should have gave you a bit of time. So um, hopefully we'll travel through its three knots. I did set out autopilot the three knots, but not sure how how they're gonna go. So it looks like there is some fish in the area, so I don't know exactly how much. I'd like to be able to see the sonar from this screen as well. I know it's not a scan bar system, but still being able to see the sonar would be pretty cool. So we'll let this open up again. We might do 110 and 120 or something along those lines. Over here. Um, so the depth beneath the boat is 600, or well, 660, 670. Um, clearance to the bottom is 319 meters. 300 meters. Uh, the height of um, the opening, I think. Or is that the height? I don't know if that's the height of the opening. And the opening is 87 meters wide, or is that the height of the opening? I don't know, not 100% sure. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. As long as we're catching fish, I really don't care. Um, so we'll keep an eye on this. I said we'll let this one get to 110, and then we'll get this one to 120, and then we'll just trawl. See how we go. There is some fish right ahead at the moment. Um, I think we could probably just leave him there. Just let him stand there and wait. Um, pretty much. They're not really doing anything. They're just standing there idle, but they're all just, you know, hanging out. They look like brothers, that pair. They don't. Um, Alright, so we'll keep an eye on this, as I said. 110, 120. Let's see how we go. There's a big pocket here, which would be nice if we can get into that. Okay, we're already getting some fish in the net, which is good. Coming in at five, which isn't too bad, so let's stop you there. Wait till you get to about 120. Stop you there. And then we're going to need to reel this one in pretty quick, I think. We're only getting two lots of fish at the moment three so that's fine we should be able to it's going to start to reel it in now yeah that should be all right i mean it's not going to be 40,000 kilos but i'd rather get it in now than risk doing it again and having it get damaged so that's um it's pretty successful straight down straight on the fish pretty much it's really good to see Let's look at our searchlight. I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it is. I don't even see the point of really having one on this boat because I don't really need it to see anything. I don't even know if it's worthwhile, you know, shooting around the back. Probably just gets in the way if them being able to see properly. Um, what is it, that one? Doesn't make much difference, does it? You can see the seagulls better. Got them flying around. Right, we know it's reached a limit. You don't have to keep telling me. Right, so reeling it in. This one's a little bit behind that one, obviously, but it's actually um, a pretty good haul straight away. Let's have a look. There's definitely some fish in the area, some silver hake. 
mackerel, redfish, tuna. It's quite deep as well. Um, I don't think these screens really help us with anything, unfortunately. Right, these guys are ready to go. We'll probably actually um, get the girls out ready to go. Right, jump back in our seat and get ready to haul this net in. I think is it when it's 10 metres or 20 metres, maybe, both. See, one's 15, the other one's 30. So I'll keep an eye on it. I'm pretty sure it's um, 20. No, maybe not. Maybe it's, oh, there you go, it was 17. Right, so we'll haul this in. Go out and have a bit of a look. Good work, boys. How did we go? Ooh, she looks full. Let's get her up and shuck those fishies out. Good work, good work. Alright, let's go and see what we got. Have a look here. 36,000 kilos of fresh fish, so not too bad. Swap these guys over. You can go set the trawl. Wait for those guys to do their thing, and then we can move them around as well. Um, I have to do it from this view, I think. So Victor stacking, Derek freezing, but Rudy and Victor can go to stacking. Victor, Rudy, you guys can go to freezing. Right, good. So thirty-six, six, ten. It's a fish um, caught, redfish and silver hake. Right, so not too bad. Let's get back in here and. Keep an eye on this, there's some more fish straight ahead here. So I know we could turn the boat to the right and try and get it. Actually, I think that's the left, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here, so if we go turn the boat left, which will bring that everything this way, I think. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Port door, I don't know which side port side is. I thought the port side was always the right side. Or is it the left side? I don't know. It's it's one of the it's either this side or this side. I can I can guarantee you guys that. Otherwise I've got no idea which is which. Right, let's see how these guys are going. Are they still yeah, working pretty hard? So those guys are um obviously very proficient in stacking. These guys aren't as good in freezing. Right, so we should be straight on the fish again, I think. There's plenty here. It's going to be good to upgrade to another bigger trawler as well. I'd like to get um, into the Arctic Pioneer, I think. Let me have a quick look and see. The Arctic Pioneer. Uh, yeah, it's 6 million. It's got 80,000 kilo storage, I think. 860,000 is the max one. Um... The Hermes, that's got 400,000. Uh, the Lunar Bow has a million, which is pretty cool. So that's probably obviously what you want to get to, but I think it's just going to take us a little bit of time to get there. All right, let's um, keep an eye on these guys. All right, I want to stop that about 120. I want to reel this one in a little bit. Go stop it again. Reel you in a little bit more. There we go. So symmetry is pretty good. We are on the fish at the moment. Right, so I want to go. I should just shut the engine down, but we'll start to haul this in. See if I can sit that at about a hundred meters. Uh, come on. Right, fix that side. 
let that out a bit more. Fix it, there we go. Out a little bit more. And then reel it in quick. Quick, 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 quick. There we go, reel this one in. That should be enough for us to nearly fill the boat and not snap this line. See, once this one gets below 100, I'm pretty sure we're not catching it either side. But we're, we are right on the fish at the moment. Um, let's have a bit of a look. Ah, some cod and some mackerel and some haddock. Right, so these guys um, can come back up to haul the trawl. get ready to go. I think we might need to um, put Victor and Rudy on freezing because these guys aren't quite as good. So these guys are only working as fast as these guys. Oh look at it. We are on the fish down here. Look at this. It's a crazy amount of fish. We're struggling to go anyway. 0.6 of a knot. We are flat stick in this thing. Definitely can see it pulling the boat underwater again. Should be able to see the girls in here working. Yeah, there they are in there working away. Alright, I'm going to remove the HUD so I can get a screenshot of these guys working when the um, net comes up. Should be able to haul it from here. Uh, a logbook. So what is the time? Um, is it 7 a.m.? It's like the sun's coming up, not going down, so... Right, they should be just about ready to go. Well, they're both within 25 metres, so... It's obviously less than that. Alright, so I want to get... A decent screenshot. I missed, I missed the big fat net then. Alright, we'll see how we go. Um, 42,712, and we didn't um, fill the boat completely, which means we didn't actually throw anything back, which is good. Alright, let's have a look at our catch. Um, Silver Haken Haddock is the best we've got. Yeah, Silver Hake, Haddock, uh, what about the Redfish? Yeah, well Silver Hake, Haddock and Redfish. So, fishing prices. I still want to keep going to Yarmouth, I think. Ah, uh, Dennis Point. You see, it's not too bad. Uh, where's Lockport? Yeah, I think we'll just keep going back to where we were. Um, we can now swing this this way and go full steam ahead. All the way up into here. So you'll take care of that. So everyone should be working pretty hard. So Derek, 960 and 1003, and they're freezing it. 1010. 1010 and 1010. So we're a little bit ahead on freezing compared to stacking. Yeah. 1,104, 1,236, we're a little bit ahead of machine gutting than freezing, but we're not going to be overly ahead, we're not going to be massively ahead, so it'll be fine. Right, let's get in the captain's chair again. Oh, I love this, I love this boat, it's awesome. Beautiful sunrise, look at that. How is that not beautiful? Take a screenshot of that. That's it's gorgeous. I must say they've done a pretty good job with majority of the graphics and stuff with this game. All right, so we'll head back in. I think we'll wait till maybe twelve o'clock. There we go. Derek's too tired to work. Um, so they're nearly finished. What about Rudy? 
Victor, I want to put you over here. There we go. Victor's leveled up. He's good. Where's Rudy? Rudy's good. I think that'll be fine. We'll just leave him there for now. Let him go. The other guy will get tired pretty soon, I think. There we go. Josh is too tired. You there, you can have some food. Um, is that telling us how much we haven't gutted yet? Oh, we've still got heaps to gut. Ooh. Crazy. Right, so we'll let these guys rest till about now. See how they're going. Um, yeah, not not overly well as far as resting goes. We'll head in for another hour. Go an hour and a half. Go. It's a bit better. We'll put them back on stacking. They're not fully rested, but pretty close to it. Alright, we'll head. So I don't want to head in, but I don't want to head go that way and let's just like stop over here somewhere uh, yep okay let's yeah, turn that off um, all right how are they going we've still got a heap to to gut another 10,000 so let's go forward four hours uh, where's our fresh fish they're done now so you guys can move over to there you guys can move to there these two lazy buggers uh, hopefully they'll eventually go up in their um in their stamina so they're, they're all working good okay press the wrong button let's go forward two hours rudy's too tired to work oh poor rudy um Are they... No, they're both idle, so they can both go to there for now and help out. Go forward another hour. Another hour. Pearl's too tired to work. Pearl went up another level in stacking. Now where is she? Yeah, she's there. Not that great, but oh, they're all done. Alright, let's head on in. Get this all sold. Actually, stacked. Oh, stacked frozen. There we go. So we've got um, plenty of silver hake. 13,000 silver hake. Heaps. A huge amount of those, which is good. Um, how's Emma's? Yeah, she needs to rest a little bit. Right, clear this. Head into Yarmouth. Offload this, and we'll head back out and do another trawl. Might head down a little bit further this time, a little bit deeper. You can see we're not using that much fuel considering we're, you know, fast travelling everywhere. Um, let me shut this door again. Do this from the captain's seat again. Right, just want to go in reasonably slow. We're only meant to be doing six knots anyway, but. There we go. Doing a little bit less than six knots now. Alright, so bring it on into the dock. See, now this is port side, because we're heading into the port on this side. But here, yeah, I don't know which side's which. It doesn't really matter to me, to be honest, but... Probably would, a good, probably would be a good idea to know. Um, Alright, let's dock... Yes, we want to sell our fish at Yarmouth. Right, it's so another 740,000. Boom, 1.8 million. Um, let's just purchase our fuel again. Have a look at the bar for some tips. Pollock, silver hake from a week ago. Um, don't need to worry about anything else. Right, so let's go. Got to change of view again. Start to pull away from the dock, and then we'll have a look and see where 
those new any bit of information came up. Right, so where's the Pollock? 11 days, 3 days ago, that's not deep enough I don't think down there. Uh, Silver Hake was where? 18 days, 7-7. Seven, seven. Where's the newest one? Was it one three days ago as well? No, I don't think that's deep enough though. Um, some Pollock three days ago, yeah, it's not going to help. As I said, let's clear this stuff. Because none of that's official. This is where we were. Um, let's go down to Picaro Bank. I want to go down the bottom right hand corner of the map. All the way down. So like, all the way down to here. And head like this way. And set you up for three. So all these boats aren't moving now, so I don't know if these guys are broken. Or what? Oh, he's not broken. Where's the other one? I can't quite see where he is. He was on the map. Ah, oh, straight ahead. No, he's not broken either. So a lot of them haven't moved for a while. So I don't know if they're out there fishing or if they're just out there waiting. Seem to be a bit... A bit frozen at the moment. Um, Alright, let's jump out of this seat. Jump into this one. Let's get uh, the boys back out to set the trawl. Actually, Emma, I want you to cook. We probably should have had you cooking before. Actually, Pearl, you can repair as well. Uh, we'll set the trawl straight away. Ooh, looks like there's absolutely nothing in the area out here. Uh, no, there was some fish, but... God knows. Just have to let it out and see what happens, I guess. Ah, uh, we can turn off the interior lights now. Right, they're done, so they can go back to where they need to go. Let's have a look. Yeah, so she's repairing a little bit. Ah, uh, two and a half percent an hour. She's cooking a meal an hour. How's her cooking level going? She's nearly over. Oh, well, she's over halfway, which is good. Still going a little bit too fast with the trawling speed, but it'll work itself out. Right, so we'll do the same as last time. We get the um, the port side door, this one, down to about 105 or something, and then we'll um, we'll lock it in. Try and get the other one to about 115. I think these waves are sort of sending our speed up and down at times, as you can see, 4.3 knots. There's a bit of fish straight ahead. Might take us a bit longer to actually fill it up this time. Right, let's have a bit of a look around. Shame we can't get our PDA through that. Right, so as I said, we'll wait till we hit 105. About there. And this one will hit 114. Stop it. So they should be the same. Or, you know, a little bit off. So the symmetry... It doesn't look too bad. Let's see if we let this guy out a little bit more. Now stop it. Does that make it better? It does actually. Yeah, it makes it a little bit better. It's just the speed. It's a little bit up and down, but I don't think we're in the best spot. Considering where we've been. Like, there just doesn't seem to be a great deal up on the map there. Um, I don't think we can really change to much on there, can we? Nah, nothing worth looking at. Tilt. Don't know what that is. Depth. 
distance, more tilt. That'll do. I guess we're just going to have to hang out and see what happens. So, ready right guys, I'll might get this trawl done off camera and um, head on in and make another sail and come back next episode and I don't know what we're going to do, if we're going to continue with the trawling or yeah, to see see how we go I guess. I think we're going to get close to um, October, which I don't think anything new in October, it's not till April that we can actually go do some lobster fishing, crab fishing and stuff, so holy dooly, there's that boat that's crashed. I hope that's a super cat because that's what you get for hitting me. Uh, yep, that's the cat. They haven't sent out an emergency. Oh, I'd say he's hit him. He's upside down and he's a bit like the Titanic at the moment. Yep, note to self, stay away from them. Anyway, yeah, as I said, I'll get this trawling done off camera. Um, we'll work out what we're going to do in future episodes. You guys let me know what you think we should do. Should we continue with the trawling? Should we change back to tuna? Long lining, net fishing? Should we skip through to April? I don't know. It's, it's up to you guys. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.